How's it going guys? It's Sam from VGPG Reviews. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a little old familiar that I've done before. That's right, we're going to be taking a look again at Vape Goo. We've got four flavours this time to try as well. Before I continue on, let me just remind you that these little unicorn bottles, they're not little, they're 30ml. These bottles are only 4 95 each for a 30ml and they've just released 100ml bottles and the offer going on them is 4 for £30. I know, I shocked myself a little bit there. So when I've done this video, I'll leave a little link below so you can go and check out the rest of their range and perhaps get a few hundred mil bottles for 30 quid. <laughs> okay, so the flavours under the firing line today are Red Jelly, Cream Dream, Drumsticks Lolly and Cinnamon Danish Swell. So, let's go for number one, Red Jelly, which is described as a classic 90s dessert, every kid's favourite. A stripper up. <laughs> Okay, all dripped up. Let's give it a taste in the vapor production test. Here we go. Okay, so very good vapor production from it. The flavors that I get from it, you, you do get what it says on the tin, you do get red jelly, but the kind of flavor that I get from it is, you know the soft gummy, the fruit gum sweets? So, it's basically the red one of those without the sugar drizzle on top. It's very nice, very addictive if you're a sweet tooth vapor like myself. Yeah, that one's good. I like that one. Next on the firing line is Cream Dream, which is described as a mass of different creams and custard, caramel, butterscotch, burnt brown sugar, and toffee. Let's drip her up. So, this is Cream Dream, taste and vapor production test. Here we go. So yeah, with that one, you literally get what you get told in the description. You do get the caramel, butterscotch, and the toffee. I couldn't taste the burnt brown sugar in it, but it's all good, really, because you get a very sweet, creamy vape out of that one. The vapor production on it is just as good, obviously, just the same as the other ones. But yeah, a very sweety, creamy vape you get out of that one. Another nice one for those sweetie vapors out there. Next on the firing line, we have Drumsticks Lolly. Like the classic Drumstick Lolly Sweet. Let's drip her up. So, taste and vapor production test on Drumsticks Lolly. Here we go. Yeah, wow, that literally tastes exactly like the Drumsticks Lolly. Um, yeah, you, everyone knows what the Drumsticks Lollies taste like. If you don't like them, fair play, that one won't be for you. But if you like Drumsticks Lollies, it tastes exactly the same. It's mental stuff. Another one for the sweet vapors out there? You lot? So the next one under the firing line is Cinnamon Danish Swirl, which is described as sticky classic Cinnamon Danish Swirl. Let's drip her out. Both taste and vapor reduction test on the Cinnamon Danish Swirl. Here we go. So yeah, wow, that literally tastes like a cinnamon danish swirl. So it's not mentioned in the description, but you can taste the pastry, you can taste the slight cinnamon, it's not overpowering, and there's like a little bit of ice icing dusting on the top of that as well. I can just about taste it. Yeah, that one's incredible. Literally tastes exactly like it. Can't praise that one enough. One thing I'll have to say before I do wrap this video up, to get these tasting as they are, I have steeped them for about two and a bit weeks just to make sure that they are as they are. I, I got recommended by the guy behind Vape Goo to give them a good steep to get their full quality flavour from them. So that's why this one's taken a little bit longer to release. So that was the Vape Goo taste and test reviews on four flavours. Stay tuned for more on the Vape Goo range and I shall see you lot in a bit. Goodbye, or Redenshi. Bye.